down here with fellow applications engineer Stan Akers, and we have something for all of you Power Mill users out there wanting to use Fusion 360 for your jig and fixture design, however, still using Power Mill for your actual tool pathing. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Stan and let him tell you what we have. All right, thank you. Now let me go ahead and share my screen here real quick. Once you have the app installed, you're going to go ahead and head over to your utilities tab within your design workspace. And over off the far right, you're going to see our export to Power Mill button. Once you click that button, you're going to get our export to Power Mill flyout. Uh, you'll see our Next Gen Solutions logo here. And you'll see we have a place we can establish the export to folder. You're going to go ahead and click on this link right here, which is going to map the folder that you want to save the file out to. Along with that, we're going to go ahead and tick this box right here, which actually will allow Fusion 360 to export the document automatically every time we save. After you've established these two options here, we're going to go ahead and tick box the options for the export file type, right? We're going to establish that we're going to export a step file for this and then hit OK. Once you've done that, you'll see a little green check mark show up on the export to Power Mill app. You also see up here in the top left that you have a check indicator. That means that Fusion 360 is ready to save your file. Now, every time you hit the save button, you're actually going to re-export that to Power Mill. So once you've saved your file out, you'll notice that your icon will change here on our app. That You'll see that little link icon that's kind of connected to the app square there. That's actually the auto export document function saving out the file and pushing a new version of that file out every time you save. So Stan, let me ask you a question real quick. So I see you have an F3D file format. Is that something that I could actually turn on to create a local backup of the Fusion file as well? That's exactly what that is. So we can actually tick that on and create multiple file types, number one, and two, have that hard copy of our F3D file. So if we wanted to open it later or not save it to the cloud, uh, that gives us the capability to do that. Once you've set that up, you can hit the OK button to dismiss that, that pop-up. Fusion 360 is just going to automatically do that every time we hit the Save button and create a new version of our part. So, Stan, where could I get a plugin like this? Just curious. So this will be available on the App Store, of course, or you can click the link below with this video. So once that's saved out, let's take a look at this in, in, in Explorer and just take a look at what it exports. So you see here we've got both file types. We've got the F3D file as well as the step file. Now, Power Mill is not going to be able to open the F3D file, but we can, of course, just import our step file each time. So let's take a look at Power Mill, and we'll, we'll go ahead and drag and drop that step file right into Power Mill to import it. You'll go through your standard import processes into your project. Once I've established my project within Power Mill, and I've got the model imported and the, and the level set here, let's head back over to Fusion 360. Let's make some changes so we can see this link work in real time here. So inside of Fusion, I'm just going to make a simple move and type M on my keyboard and just snap my location. We're just going to go ahead and pull this, uh, this over in X just a little bit here. Let's just say we need to get a little more room on this vice here. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit Save. Once I hit Save, this is going to re-export out to Power Mill once again. Now, the nice thing is, is that inside of Power Mill, that's actually going to be a re-established model. Once you're back inside of Power, Power Mill and you've re-established the, the project file, you'll notice that there's a pop-up letting you know that there's some import changes to the model. So everything that we changed within Fusion 360 is going to go ahead and update. I'll hit OK to that. Now that the translation's automatically gone through, of course, we have our information pop up from Power Mill anytime there's a change to a model or re-import. Uh, it's going to go ahead and just make the change and move it to the file because that is automatically updated right from Fusion 360. 